بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about the unilateral hyperglucent hemothorax causes the common causes the less common go- causes and clues to the diagnosis. Essential information for the diagnosis of hyper, unilateral hyperlucent lung uh, hemothorax, we, we want to check for central airway obstruction to exclude the airway obstruction by endobronchial tumors, extrinsic combustions and foreign body and we want to check the lung parenchyma for focal air trapping, exhalation, CT helpful to increase confidence and we take it in expiratory phase and we check for the chest wall for evidence of prior surgery or deformities. The differential diagnosis of uh, unilateral hyperlucent uh, hemothorax include the common causes in pneumothorax, mastectomy, prior surgery, and bronchial obstruction. Helpful clues for the common diagnosis. Pneumothorax look for deep sulcus sign on subine radiograph. And this is it is important, especially in in patient in the uh, ICU or CCU. Here we see extensive uh, right-sided hemothorax with uh, hyperlucent right hemothorax and uh, with almost complete collapse of the right lung associated with a mediastinal shift to the left side. Here, this is left-sided extensive hemothorax with almost complete the left lung with mediastinal shift and with a hydroneumothorax knotted. This is in the first case and second case, this is tension in pneumothorax. Mastectomy, breast asymmetry, surgical eclipse in the axilla, in the axilla, it is a clue signs for the, for the history of uh, mastectomy. As we see here on the left side, there is a uh, uh, hyperlucent uh, left hemothorax with surgical eclipse in the left axilla, a prior to left mastectomy. Prior surgery, single lung transplant or epsilateral lipectomy uh, can cause uh, unilateral high above lucent hemothorax. Bronchial obstruction, hyperlucency from air trapping, ball valve effect, lobar collapse, and hyperinflation of the other lobes. Foreign body in children and endobronchial tumor in adults. Primary malignancy, more common than endobronchial metastasis. Carcinoid is the most common and has have central chunky calcification. Here we see chest X-ray in the patient with the left upper lobe collapse from a carcinoid tumor. And you see elevation of the left hemideaphragm and uh, 
juxtaphonic beak and uh, loft shear sign, air crescent sign in that area. And you see some air around uh, our technical. This is left about low collapse. Less common causes, serial James syndrome, bronchial atresia, congenital lobar emphysema. Clues for the less common causes, serial James syndrome, you have uh, a unilateral post infectious constructive bronchiolitis. There is decreased vascular marking with air traveling in expiration and CT bronchitis is often present, more extensive air traveling than in the radiograph. As we see here in just radiograph, left hemothorax is loosened compared to the right side due to secondary post infectious constrictive bronchiolitis in patient with Sewer James syndrome. And we see the pulmonary artery and a relative paucity of the bronchovascular marking on the left lung compared to the right side. On the CT scan, we see it is uh, low attenuation and hyperinflation of the left lower lobe, post infectious uh, constructive uh, bronchiolitis with a sequelae of adenovirus infection in the childhood era. And you compare the blood vessels on the left side are attenuated compared to the right side and the left lower lobe is loosened than the, the right side. Bronchial atresia, collateral ventilation with air driving on expiratory imaging, mucosal common in the airway distal to the obliteration, left upper lobe, more common than the right middle lobe and the lower lobes. Here we see in the uh, chest X-ray uh, so, uh, scanogram for CT scan with hyperlucent uh, left lung compared to the right lung with soft tissue density mass due to and the left hilum due to bronchial atresia. That mass it is surrounded by lucent area, and it is almost characteristic of bronchial atresia. <laughs> Here we see on this CT scan to be our tubular obesity representing obstructed <coughs> dilated mucus impacted distal airway associated or surrounded with uh, uh, high bar inflation with air traveling due to bronchial atresia. <laughs> Congenital lobar emphysema it is focal over inflation and air traveling in disorganized parenchyma. Left upper lobe more than common than the right middle lobe and the right lower lobe. Thank you for listening. Hoping to see you soon in another talk.